Welcome back to the Kim Ludd channel. We're excited to jump into a new topic today. In this mid-2025, Airbus leads in orders and deliveries, capitalizing on Boeing's recent struggles. But Boeing is far from out. Its 737 MAX is back, the 787 is in demand, and the upcoming 777X could be a game changer. The real contest is about execution. Can Boeing fix its bottlenecks? Can Airbus manage its backlog? The deeper battle is for the future. Who will lead in sustainable flight? Ultimately, the winner is the flying public. This rivalry has made planes safer, faster, and more efficient. The world is smaller and more connected because of it. As we look to 2030, the question isn't just who's ahead, but what innovations will come next? Hydrogen jets? 100% SAF flights? The next chapter is just beginning. The struggle for the skies continues. The next frontier is sustainability. Airbus is betting big on hydrogen-powered jets, aiming for a zero aircraft by 2035, while Boeing focuses on sustainable aviation fuels that work with today's planes. Both are investing in lighter materials, smarter automation, and real-time data to make flying greener and safer. The idea of single pilot cockpits and AI-assisted operations is on the horizon. Though public acceptance is a hurdle, the innovation race is relentless, fueled by rivalry and necessity. The future of flight is being written now. Safety is the foundation of aviation, and both Airbus and Boeing have strong records. But the 737 MAX crashes in 2018 and 2019 exposed critical flaws in Boeing's design and oversight, leading to a global grounding and a crisis of confidence. Boeing has since overhauled its safety culture, fixed software, and improved training, but the shadow lingers. Airbus has faced incidents too, but none as damaging in recent years. Every accident drives industry-wide improvements in design and training. The MAX crisis was a stark reminder. Safety culture and transparency are non-negotiable. Airbus and Boeing differ at their core, especially in cockpit philosophy. Boeing sticks to tradition, a control yoke, and a focus on pilot authority with systems that assist but never override. Airbus took a leap with side stick controls and fly-by-wire systems that prevent pilots from exceeding safe limits. This envelope protection is a hallmark of Airbus safety. Visually, Boeing planes have pointed noses and V-shaped cockpit windows. Airbus jets are rounder with squared off sunglasses windows. Airbus emphasizes cockpit commonality. Pilots can switch between models with minimal retraining, saving airlines money. Boeing also values commonality, but differences between models are more pronounced. These philosophies shape not just how planes fly, but how they look and feel. For pilots and airlines, these differences are more than cosmetic. They're strategic. The cockpit is where the rivalry is most personal. It's a battle of control and trust. Prestige and technology are showcased in wide-body jets. For long-haul flights, Boeing's 787 Dreamliner revolutionized the industry with its carbon fiber fuselage, lighter weight, and improved passenger comfort. Airbus answered with the A350, boasting a wider, quieter cabin and advanced composites. Both jets are flagships for airlines connecting continents with efficiency and style. The 787 had a head start and strong sales, but the A350 is gaining ground, especially with top carriers like Singapore Airlines and Qatar Airways. The choice often comes down to route needs and manufacturer deals. Both planes are engineering marvels pushing each other to new heights. The race is neck and neck at the cutting edge of aviation. Wide bodies are about more than size. They're about brand, innovation, and the future. The duel continues. The fiercest rivalry is in single aisle jets, the workhorses of short haul travel. Airbus's A320 family and Boeing's 737 have shaped the way the world flies. The 737, first flown in 1967, built its reputation on reliability and airline loyalty, especially with carriers like Southwest and Ryanair. Airbus entered in the 1980s with the A320, introducing digital fly-by-wire controls and a wider cabin for more comfort. The A320neo, launched in the 2010s, offered new efficient engines orders soared. 
Boeing's response, the 737 MAX, was a re-engined update, but rushed development led to tragic design flaws and a global grounding. This crisis allowed Airbus to surge ahead in market share. Today, the A320neo family is the best seller, but Boeing's 737 remains a formidable force. The battle for the skies is relentless. Efficiency, comfort, and trust are the weapons. For now, Airbus leads. In aviation, success is measured in orders and deliveries. As of August 2025, Airbus leads in both, delivering over 750 aircraft in 2024 and aiming for 800 this year. Boeing Recovering delivered about 530 last year and is ramping up production, especially for the 737 MAX and 787 Dreamliner. Airbus's order backlog exceeds 8,000 jets. Boeing's is around 6,000. Much of Airbus's lead comes from the wildly popular A320neo family, especially with low-cost carriers in Asia and Europe. Boeing still holds strong with legacy U.S. airlines and dominates in wide-body and cargo markets, though Airbus is gaining ground. The numbers show Airbus ahead, but Boeing is fighting back, stabilizing production and rebuilding trust. The rivalry is far from over. Every order, every delivery is a move in this high-stakes chess game. The skies are a battleground. Who will pull ahead next? The skies weren't always ruled by just two names. Decades ago, McDonnell Douglas, Lockheed, and Convair were major players building iconic jets. Boeing, founded in 1916, dominated with innovations like the 707, setting the standard for the jet age. But across the Atlantic, Europe united its aerospace power in 1970, forming Airbus to challenge the American giants. Their first plane, the A300, was the world's first twin-engine wide-body jet, slowly winning over airlines. Airbus's relentless innovation, like fly-by-wire controls, began to challenge Boeing's traditional approach. Over time, rivals faded or were absorbed. McDonnell Douglas merged into Boeing in 1997, cementing the duopoly. Now, airlines choosing a new jet almost always pick between Airbus and Boeing. This lack of competition gives both immense power to set prices and steer technology. Any stumble, production delays, safety crises shakes the entire aviation ecosystem. The duopoly defines the industry for better or worse. The battle lines are drawn. When you board a plane, odds are it's made by one of just two companies, Airbus or Boeing. These titans have shaped how and where we fly, and their rivalry is a saga of innovation, ambition, and controversy. Their competition has created a duopoly. Think Coke versus Pepsi, but with billions of dollars and millions of lives at stake. Every new plane order or safety bulletin sends ripples through the global economy. This isn't just about airplanes. It's about global trade, engineering marvels, and our drive to connect the world. So who's winning? The answer shifts with every economic change, breakthrough, and public perception. One year, Boeing celebrates record deliveries. The next, Airbus unveils a model that captures the world's imagination. In 2025, the rivalry is fiercer than ever as both companies navigate post-pandemic challenges and race towards sustainable aviation. From Boeing's pioneering spirit to Airbus's collaborative European ambition, their journeys are legendary. They've pushed each other to build faster, quieter, more efficient, and safer planes. This essay will peel back the layers of this power struggle, iconic aircraft, philosophies, triumphs, failures, and try to answer who truly rules the skies in 2025. Let's take off. As we look beyond 2025, the rivalry between Airbus and Boeing is set to enter a new era. The aviation industry faces unprecedented challenges and opportunities from sustainability to new technologies and emerging competitors. Environmental concerns are driving both companies to innovate faster than ever. Airbus is investing heavily in hydrogen-powered aircraft. While Boeing is focusing on sustainable aviation fuels, and more efficient designs. 
But the skies may not always be ruled by just two giants. New players from China like Comac and advances in electric aviation could disrupt the duopoly. Both Airbus and Boeing must stay agile to maintain their dominance. Automation, artificial intelligence, and digital transformation are reshaping how planes are built and flown. The next decade could see single pilot operations, smarter maintenance, and even more connected aircraft. For travelers and investors, the competition means better planes, safer flights, and more choices. Watch for new aircraft launches, sustainability milestones, and how each company responds to global events. One thing is certain, the race for the skies is far from over. Whether you fly Airbus or Boeing, the future of aviation will be shaped by innovation, competition, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. Stay tuned to see who truly rules the skies in the years ahead. Before we wrap up, here's a fun aviation fact for you. Did you know that the world's shortest commercial flight lasts less than two minutes? The route between Westray and Papa Westray in Scotland covers just 1.7 miles. It's shorter than some airport runways. Aviation is full of surprises like this, and we love sharing them with you. Stay curious and keep exploring the skies with us. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Stay curious and keep exploring. Thank you for tuning in. You've been watching Kim Lutton Media.